I'm here at the uh, Songshan, Songshan Temple. It's the uh, Shaolin Temple, the original one, the first one, the origin of Kung Fu. Pretty fancy. Um, the surrounding area is pretty beautiful, but uh, as a as a temple, it's basically Disneyland. It's just a uh, bunch of shops and obviously not a few buildings. A um, bunch of people hawking jokes. And, uh, this is the origin of Kung Fu. Uh, ooh, it's falling a long way. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do some walking. I know a, a lot of walking and scenic stuff here. We'll see how it looks. Maybe it'll maybe it'll improve. But uh, the entrance is uh, pretty commercialized. We'll see how it is. I'm walking through the park here. I call it a park. I'm walking through the temple here. And it is exactly like an amusement park. That is the uh, thing that strikes you the most here. The, uh, there was cotton candy and uh, people in bear costumes or anything like that it wouldn't be out of place at all. Um, <laughs> it is interesting, the whole city of Dengfeng seems to be built entirely around Kung Fu or uh, martial arts schools. You can't go a couple hundred feet without running into another school. And those schools aren't small. They're, they're not one or two or five or ten people. They're hundreds, thousands of students. They're gigantic buildings. They're gigantic. Um, this is a whole industry. I mean, it's a whole city built around martial arts, presumably Kung Fu. I mean, I'm not a Kung Fu expert, I'm not a martial arts expert, I don't know anything about that. Um, there's big, there's small here, it's, pre it's pretty amazing uh, how much, how many schools there are. Uh, and uh, most of seems to be children. Um, I don't know if they pay to go here or if they're here for free and they have to work for it. Um, I don't know what their vocation ends up being. It can't be martial arts. There's way too many of them. Uh, lots of shows, I guess. I don't know. But um, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty interesting industry here. So we're gonna keep walking around. We're gonna see what we can find here and uh, just enjoy the scenery. <laughs> So I've been walking around for a while and uh, this is one of the worst tourist traps I've ever been to. Um, it's a park, it's, it's an amusement park is what it is. Behind me you'll see the only original building, if I understand correctly, the only original building in, the, in this park. Um, everything else is new, not real. Um, it's, it's even got some uh, nice fake fancy logs and rock benches that will fit right in at Six Flags. Um, they have photos, you know, of the kind on the log plume where it has the fake background and it shows your reaction or whatever. They got those. I'm waiting for the uh, Kung Fu roller coaster. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere, given, given what I've seen. Uh, I'm sure glad I didn't come here specifically for this. It's a long way. Um, glad I was nearby and I could check it out, but boy, if you're traveling from Deng Kong or I mean, from uh, Jingzhou or any of the other surrounding cities where it's a, where it's a couple hour drive, you're gonna be, you're gonna be real disappointed. Um, I get a lot of stares here. I'm the only white person I've seen. Um, a couple people have to take pictures. I seem to be uh, one of the. I seem to be an attraction just as as much as the the surrounding area. So 
Um, yeah, I wouldn't waste your time coming here. Uh, nothing, nothing here of interest. It's all, it's all just touristy kitsch and crap. But uh, yeah, if you like people and you like uh, touristy stuff, I guess it's good. But that's not me. Okay, I'm still here in the Shaolin Temple, kind of off the path a little bit. There was a sign that said uh, Dharma, Dharma Temple, or Dharma Statue and Dharma Cave. I've been walking for a while. It's about 95 degrees here, 100% humidity. It's been almost straight up, steps the whole way. Finally came around a corner thinking, ah, yeah, I might be there. I'm not there. If you look behind me, you can see, you can see the temple. You can see the temple up here. And there's, I don't know, a million more steps. I'm thinking about turning back, but I've already come so far. I'm kinda, kinda worried though. I, I didn't bring my shoes. <laughs> I brought my skate shoes. I've already been through mud. And that temple is way up there. It is way up there. If you're coming here and you're planning on doing this, if you're, if you're gonna do this, you gotta be fit. You gotta be fit and bring the right shoes, bring the right shorts. These shorts are thick cotton. I'm chafing, I'm chafing down there. Let me see if I can get a better picture of that. All right, you can see the, you can see the temple. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. See those stairs? It's basically straight up. I'm gonna try. We'll see how it works. It's not getting any better. The closer I get. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know. I'm making a hike here. The view just gets worse the closer I get. This might, this might do me in, I don't know. I've walked some big temples, but this is by far the most treacherous one, the most difficult one I've walked up. Check this out. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but that's gotta be that's got to be a 60, 70 degree incline, and it's all stairs, and that's only the part I can see. Holy crap. Someone took a shit on the steps, because they were like, fuck it, I'm this far, I'm not going back down, I'm going up. I don't even hate them. I don't even hate them. It just never stops. I don't even know. I don't even know. The view's getting pretty cool though. I think it'll be worth it. We'll see. If you fall, you might as well just give it up because you're you're going down to the bottom of the mountain. Oh. My Fitbit just asked me to stop. Said it was too much. I'm starting to agree. I'm gonna die. I made it to the top of one of these sets. I think it's the one I saw. Took a picture of. I hope. It's brutal. And that's like halfway, maybe, total, I don't know, horizontally, maybe a thousand feet, maybe. That's being generous. Probably about the same vertically. No, it's more vertically. Yeah, it's probably close, closer to 1400 vertical. This is not a 45 degree angle. It's it's got to be 60 at least. I think it's 
think the view is going to be worth it. I'm getting my cardio in for the week. I think I might die. I was wrong. That wasn't what I saw. Those stairs weren't it. I'm on them now. I mean, I'm only halfway. I don't know. I don't know. I just met a guy on his way down. Spoke a little bit of English. I asked him how much farther. He said it was one meter. <laughs> I don't think it's one meter. I don't think it's one meter. Even when I get to the top, I'm still gonna have to walk down. I would seriously pay for a ride down. Cause I don't know. And when I get down, I still got over a mile back to the front of the park. So, I don't know. Come this far. I'm gonna make it to the top. It takes me a while, but I'll make it. I made it up here to the Dharma Cave. I think that's about 200 meters lower than the than the temple. I still got a ways to go. A lot of ways. I'm gonna check out the cave first, though. It is cooler in there. I finally made it up here. <coughs> took me about 45 minutes. On the base for casual tourism. That was an extreme hike. Don't try it unless you you like exercise. A lot of it. Almost gave up, but I'm here. <laughs> like the rest of this park, it's it's nothing special up here. It's a uh, statue that was built in 1995. Yeah, it's a whopping. 23 years old. Um, view's great. Uh, not a not an ancient statue. It's okay. It's alright. I like the view. Looks really cool. I can see my house from up here. Not really. Should be able to though. It's about time to start my walk down here. Probably. 95 degrees, 100% humidity, I'm sweating buckets. I'm not under any illusions. The trip down is going to be much easier than the trip up. I say, I almost bit off more than I can chew in this instance. Still got a mile walk once I get down, at least a mile, back to the taxi stand. Brutal. I've started my walk down. Pretty treacherous. Especially because uh, my legs are shaky, getting worn out from the climb up. They're threatening, <laughs> threatening to give out on me. Um, I checked my Fitbit at the top. It said 122 floors vertical. I believe it. Getting down is going to be even trickier than I thought. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it down in one piece. I'm about halfway down. Found another problem. In addition to my slippery shoes, I almost slipped a couple times. These steps, I didn't realize on the way up, but these steps are small. Like Asian feet small, my feet don't fit on them the whole way. So stepping down, I have to step sideways. It's taking a long time, and it's dangerous. I made it back to the main path. My calves and ankles are absolutely cashed out. They're out. I got at least another mile and a half to get back to the taxi place, the front gate. 
I'm going, there's more park to see, but given how cheesy everything is, it's not even worth going the other two miles and then have to walk three miles back. I'm headed back, calling it. Interesting trip. I mean, interesting day. Chongqing tomorrow, Chongqing tomorrow. Do some flying. We'll have a good time there. I didn't think I was going to be doing this much work, but uh, I got down and broke down and got some street food sausage. God damn if this sausage doesn't have that Asian flavor. I don't know what flavor that is. I've never been able to figure it out. How do you get that in a sausage? I don't get it. Uh, but I'm going to try for some corn.